Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Kotak Securities webinar. My name is Shorya Gupta, and I'm a senior product manager in the equity division. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to take you uh, uh, through uh, an interesting topic, uh, which uh, I think most of you would uh, be confused about or perhaps would be looking for answers. So I'm going to just start with my uh, screen share. Just a second. Okay, so like I said, the topic of the discussion uh, or the or the presentation today is margin trading versus collateral margin. Uh, why I chose uh, this topic is because uh, about uh, a month back, I uh, was giving a presentation on margin trading and uh, what the what this product or what what that product is all about. Uh, so there I came across a lot of questions uh, in terms of whether margin trading uh, shares can be used uh, in options and, you know, and how, how margin trading can be used in different segments. So um, I, I felt the need that, you know, we probably need more clarity uh, in terms of understanding these two uh, different features and uh, how they complement each other and how they are different uh, from each other. So uh, let's uh, begin. So this is the roadmap. I'm gonna uh, take you through the basic definition of both of these products. Uh, then we'll uh, go ahead with uh, uh, you know understanding this with the short examples. Uh, I've tried to make it uh, a bit interesting using some pictures and stuff. So I hope you like that. Uh, then going ahead, uh, we will talk about the major differentiating factors between the two. Uh, going ahead. We will talk about pledging in the pledge process. And finally, we'll conclude with how to activate these features followed by uh, the Q&A session. So let's begin. So the basic definition, if you can see in the screen, margin trading and collateral margin, both I've tried to show with the help of uh, a pictorial representation. In case of margin uh, trading, you see there's a physical balance uh, where we are trying to show that uh, uh, you know this uh, the first part where it is written paid by you as margin so basically what you are doing is yes you are paying a small part of the total trade value as margin while uh, the rest is funded by your broker which in this case is Kotex securities uh, it is funding the rest of the amount and using both of these you are able to place a trade uh, in your desired stock so margin trading is basically like a loan uh, which allows you to buy shares and like any other loan uh, this loan also has an interest feature, uh, you know, the interest is applicable on the funded amount. Uh, another interesting thing is in margin trading, you can take uh, hold the positions for as long as you want, uh, as long as uh, you are uh, uh, keeping sufficient margins in your account, you will be able to carry on your uh, trade for as long as you want. So this is about margin trading. Uh, you can uh, look at it uh, from the point of view of, uh, let's say if you have one lakh uh, uh, you want to invest uh, in a stock worth one lakh, and uh, but you only have twenty five thousand. So you are taking help from your broker who is spending the remaining seventy five thousand, and that is how you are able to, uh, you know, place that trade. Uh, other way to look at it is that you only want to invest twenty five thousand, and you want to make the make uh, most out of uh, that investment. So in that case. You use margin trading as the tool where you get up to 4x or 5x leverage. So by that, you know, you can increase the volumes of your trade and thereby, you know, gain more out of uh, the, the trade that you place. So that is about margin trading. Now, uh, coming towards the collateral margin, if you can see from the diagram, uh, you know, basically whatever stocks that you hold in your DMAT, these are the stocks you can utilize to generate margin to trade in any of the segments. So in this case, if you see, there's a, another thing called as haircut. Now haircut is basically uh, a certain amount, a percentage, uh, which is uh, kept by the broker, uh, uh, you, know, uh, in, uh, you know, in means of a risk uh, criteria, which is applicable on that. So uh, after removing this haircut, the remaining amount which comes to you, that becomes your collateral margin, uh, which you can utilize to trade in uh, any of the segments. So collateral margin is basically a facility in Kotak Securities, we call it stock as margin. 
so you can use this facility uh, to uh, you know basically uh, use all the shares or pledge all the shares that you have in your dmat and uh, you know you can create margin using those shares uh, an interesting point is that interest is not applicable in case of any equity trades but in case of derivative trades in fno uh, interest is still levied on the uh, on the stock margin part as well uh, however it uh, it can be since it can be utilized across all the segments so that is one of the benefits of collateral margin so now i'll uh, try to explain with the help of an example uh, so uh, see mark wants to buy shares worth rupees 1 lakh but doesn't have the full amount so what mark does is uh, he goes to uh, the kst app and he selects margin trading as the order type and there he uh, only has to pay 25000 instead of the whole 1 lakh while uh, kotak securities uh, is funding the remaining 75000 for him uh, on a uh, you know certain nominal interest rate and thereby mark is able to buy stocks worth up to four times than the amount that he's paying so basically he is both getting funding uh, for the share so he doesn't doesn't have to use the entire fund that he has plus he also is able to play on leverage so uh, he is benefiting from both ends uh, on the right side you will see there's a screenshot that i have tried to put which is basically the margin trading order journey uh, this is how it looks on our kotak uh, stock trading app uh, where you know you users simply have to select the stock that you want to buy uh, and then you have to fill in the details quantity price etc uh, in the trade type you have to select it delivery in the product type you have to uh, select margin trading as the product then you can decide whether you want to place a limit order market order and then proceed with the order now a very important thing here is uh, is an option which is right above uh, margin trading at the right corner which is called margin required so margin required is an option or a, or i would say a facility with uh, uh, through which you can basically check that how much margin uh, up front you will have to pay if you use a uh, margin trading uh, facility because uh, like mark also pays 25000 uh, to buy shares 1 lakh so that means for every stock there is a different uh, upfront margin allocated or uh, uh, so that means he uh, he has to pay certain amount of funds so similarly you also have to pay certain amount of front and that you can check in the margin required and you can also check this for other uh, order types you can also check it for normal you can check it for intraday orders as well that how much margin is required so this is about margin trading uh now we'll go to the collateral margin part so we'll consider the same example uh where mark wants to buy shares worth rupees 1 lakh and uh, he doesn't have but here we will uh, assume that he does not have any funds in his account but he has 50000 worth of shares lying in his dmat so what does mark do mark uses this 50000 worth shares he pledges these shares and generates and whatever amount is generated post the haircut deduction he is able to use those uh, that margin to take a position uh, in this case he has taken a position in margin trading so he is still able to take the position without actually even having funds so that is the benefit with collateral margin that you don't even need funds you can simply use your existing shares and you can generate limit using those shares uh, and use zero funds in your trades uh, in the right hand side again i have tried to uh, explain how it looks uh, on the kotak stock trading app where you want to uh, if you want to pledge your shares uh, this is what opens up from the limits page you can you will get a link uh, to pledge for margin uh, when you go to the pledge for margin part you will be able to see the stocks that are there in your dmat you can select these stocks and then proceed with the pledging process okay so uh, we will cover the pledging process later on in the presentation for now we'll uh, stick to the differentiating factors so all in all uh, the most basic difference is that margin trading is an order type and co collateral margin is a facility so uh, margin trading is only available in equity segment collateral margin can be used overall in any segment uh, whatsoever margin trading is only available in nse that is national stock exchange in collateral margin there is no such uh, filter you can use it wherever you want uh, now the next is uh, in margin trading you can utilize both your funds as well as stock as margin to place trades uh, again in collateral margin there is no such concept because you are not placing any trades you are simply creating margin uh, which you can utilize in different uh, segments
uh, positions can be held for as long as desired, provided that sufficient margin is maintained at all times. Uh, this I have already cleared that you can continue to hold your position under margin trading for as long as you want, provided that you keep a sufficient margin in your account. In collateral margin, uh, once you have pledged the shares, you can utilize these shares until uh, you decide to uh, you know, sell those shares. And even for that, you don't actually have to uh, unpledge the, uh, the unutilized pledged shares. You simply go, you can go ahead with selling the shares. Uh, uh, the system will unpledge it uh, on your behalf uh, from that. Uh, and the last uh, important point is that for margin trading, uh, you have to accept terms and conditions uh, in order to activate margin trading product. Uh, while in case of collateral margin, there is no such uh, you know, requirement of the sorts. So this is the basic, these are the basic differentiating factors around uh, these two features. Uh, we are now proceeding with the pledging process. Uh, pledging is an important topic to cover because it is related to both collateral margin and margin trading. Uh, it's a new functionality which was brought in by regulator in the year 2020 in order to safeguard your investments. Uh, so pledging is important. You can uh, you need uh, to pledge your shares in both the cases. If you have taken a position in margin trading, then also you need to pledge your shares. And if you want to utilize stocks uh, stock as margin, then also you need to pledge your shares. But uh, can you use your margin trading pledged shares uh, to trade in uh, in option segment or derivative segment? No, the answer is no. Uh, margin, uh, if whatever stocks that you pledge uh, under margin trading, they are only meant, meant to safeguard your margin trading positions. Once you uh, pledge these shares, these shares are transferred to your DMAT account, but they are still pledged under the name of your broker. So until you yourself own those shares, you will not be able to utilize those shares uh, as stock as margin to trade in other segments. If you want to utilize uh, stock margins to trade in options or futures, for that you will have to go ahead with the stock as margin facility and use your DMAT shares uh, to you know, generate the limits and trade. Uh, here uh, at the bottom, I have uh, given the small this process which uh, you need to follow if you want to uh, pledge your shares. So uh, as you can see, Sorry. Uh, as you can see uh, here, first you have to go to the more sec uh, section uh, in the in the Cortex uh, uh, AKST app, and then you have to go to uh, the funds, and then you have to go to the pledge for margin page. Uh, a new pop-up window will open up. Uh, this uh, from there you can select the stocks that are already there in your DMAT. You will be able to see the stocks that are there in your DMAT, and uh, you can. Uh, confirm or select these stocks and proceed to pledge. Uh, post that, you will receive a link on your registered mobile number uh, from, uh, from uh, NSDL. You'll also receive an email. You just have to click on the link. Uh, you have to enter your PAN details, and then you will uh, basically see the stocks that you have already selected that you want to pledge. And uh, you just have to give a confirmation through an OTP authentication, and your job is done. Uh, it usually takes around 24 hours for your uh, you know, shares to get pledged and properly utilized. Uh, and sorry, it's to be available for you to trade, uh, but the hours may differ. So I would still say that it is around, it takes around. So if you have uh, requested it for today, you will probably get. Uh, your stock as margin uh, tomorrow, your shares will be pledged by tomorrow. So this is the pledging process. So now we are at the final uh, topic of the presentation, that is how to activate. Uh, so in stock as margin, it's a default active feature. You do not actually need to uh, do any further activations. So you only have to select the stocks that you want to pledge and uh, uh, you know and follow the pledging process. That is the only requirement for uh, stock as margin. Uh, while in case of uh, margin trading, you need to go to uh, to accept the TNC of margin trading, that is terms and conditions. Uh, they need to be activated before you place your first trade in margin uh, trading segment. So here you can see that these are the three ways uh, how you can do it in website, Cortex Stock Trader app, and the Key Pro X. Uh, I hope that uh, these are very much clear. So I'll just give you like two minutes to go through this.
Okay, so uh, I guess uh, you must have noted down uh, whichever way that you want to proceed uh, with activating margin trading in your account. Please, please note that you have to activate margin trading before you uh, begin to utilize it. If it is already activated in your account, you have done it previously, uh, then you don't have to do it again. It, it is a one-time activation process and you have to, uh, you know, it's a very simple process. Uh, like it, it will take around one, one or two minutes to finish it. So this is about it. So I hope that you were able to understand uh, or, you know, I was able to clarify more about both of these terms and uh, and how do they differ and how do they complement each other. Uh, now we can uh, proceed ahead with the questions. So whatever, whatever questions that you have. So, I, uh, there are questions that uh, please explain the margin trading in detail. I hope that I was able to explain it in detail already. What is the rate of interest that would be charged? So in case of margin trading, there are different rates. So it depends on the plan that you have chosen. Uh, if you have taken a trade fee plan, it is around 11.49% per annum uh, uh, with the uh, you know, you can you can uh, go to Trade Free Max plan, which is currently live. You will be able to find it on the website as well, and you can opt for that plan. There, you can get a, a more reduced uh, percentage of uh, rate of uh, interest for margin trading. Uh, in case of uh, stock as margin, also in case of FNO, uh, the rate is applicable, which is around 8.99 percent for the Trade Free clients, and in the standard plan, it is around 18 percent. So these are the rate of interests. Okay. Can can you use the margin trading? No. So like I already explained, you cannot use your margin trading shares. Uh, uh, you know, in options, margin trading pledged shares will only be are only meant for to uh, you know safeguard your investment. Uh, you are not supposed to use those shares for uh, trading in options or. Any, any other segment. If you want to uh, use collateral margins and you have to go to the stock as margin facility and uh, you know generate limits against the shares that are already available in your DMAT. How to unpledge shares that are already pledged. So you don't have to actually go through the unpledging of shares process. Uh, you simply have to, if you want to sell the shares, you can go ahead with selling the shares. You don't have to unpledge the shares to sell them. So, uh, Mr. Jaina Kuntoji has asked, what is the time limit for margin trading? Like I already have mentioned, uh, there is no time limit for margin trading. You can hold your positions for as long as you want, provided that you are keeping sufficient margins in your account at all times. How to, okay, so... Mr. Subaya Arasu have, has asked how to convert MTF to normal delivery. So uh, for converting your MTF trade to a normal delivery, you will have to contact the customer uh, service and they will help you ahead with the process of the same. Mr. Puneet Sharma has asked, can we sell pledged shares? Yes, you can uh, uh, sell your pledged shares. You don't have to unpledge them. You can just uh, go ahead with selling them. So Mr. Harahad Bhai has asked uh, if we use margin as collateral to Kotak charge interest. Uh, like I, I have already mentioned that in case of equity, there is no interest to be charged on it. But if you are taking uh, using the collateral margins and derivative segment, then interest is applicable uh, on the stock margins.
Well, okay, somebody, uh, Mr. Rudrapal Singh uh, has asked, uh, what is the difference between MTF and pledge margin trading? Uh, so, okay, I will just clarify this once again, that margin trading is a facility or it's an order type. You know, you can use, uh, cert you have certain amounts, uh, certain funds in your account. Uh, you take uh, funding from your broker uh, to uh, you know, and create the total trade value. And that is how you are able to place trades and margin trading. It's, it's a funding facility. Uh, but, uh, you know, pledge, uh, pledging in margin trading is basically when you are, when you have purchased any shares under margin trading, you have to, you have to pledge those shares in the favor of your broker, because once you pledge those shares, the shares are transferred to your DMAT account, but those shares cannot be utilized by you until you actually uh, you know, purchase or own those shares. So you, uh, although you uh, have those shares in your DMAT, you will still not be able to use them. So that is different. And if you are talking about collateral margin, so collateral margin, um, uh, the difference is that you will already have the stocks in your DMAT and you are using those stocks only to pledge them and generate margin against those shares. So uh, how is the interest collected during selling of, or during ledger settlement? So yeah, interest, uh, although it's charged on a, uh, for margin trading, interest is charged on a regular basis, but uh, you will find the total interest will be debited from your account, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the end of the month. So you will find it in your uh, account, uh, you know, the ledger on the monthly ledger uh, statement, you will find the details of the interest that is being charged to you. Okay, so Mr. Ashwini Kumar has asked, what is the benefit of pledging margins? Uh, so basically when you are uh, short on funds or you don't want to, uh, and this I'm talking about collateral margins, uh, when you do not wish to utilize your cash funds to trade, um, when you already have uh, you know, shares worth 50,000, one lakh or whatever the amount be, uh, which can cover for your trades. So, it's a, it's like a benefit that you don't actually have to use your funds. You can simply utilize the shares that are already there and generate margin against those shares and use it in any of the order types that you want to. It uh, You can use it in equity and derivative segment. You can use it in currency and commodity as well. So basically you can place trades using zero funds. So that is the benefit of uh, collateral margins. Okay, someone has asked, which means we can use margin trading funds to take positions in derivatives. No, again, no. Margin trading, uh, you know, whatever uh, shares are being pledged uh, under margin trading are not supposed to be used in FNO segment. They are only meant to safeguard your investment. Those shares, those pledged shares cannot be used for trading. If you want to create or you want to use stock as margin, uh, please use your DMAT shares, uh, pledge those shares and create uh, a margin against those shares to trade in derivatives. I hope I am uh, most of the, I have answered most of the questions here that are there. And uh, for any, <coughs> sorry, for any other specific, <coughs> For any other specific query that you have, uh, I would request you to raise it with our customer service and we'll get back to you on the same. Um, this is the end of uh, our uh, presentation and I hope that uh, you know, I was able to clarify your uh, doubts about uh, uh, both margin trading as well as collateral margin. So thank you.